let's fix the TypeScript of our Redux. Because if you look here, that's a TypeScript issue. So we need to fix it. To fix this, we just need to add the type to that dispatch. And the type of that dispatch is this patch type. We can import it from Redux. Import dispatch from Redux. And press save. Now we've solved the problem here. Let's go to our user, reducer, and we got here two problems, type and payload. I would like to mention again that it's a, a TypeScript issue and it will not affect your code. So if you don't fix those, don't worry, your code is gonna work well without any problems. But we need to solve them. So let's create a type and let's name it, for example, action type. You can name it whatever you want, okay? That's a TypeScript code, okay? We just take those two properties and define what is the type of each one of them. The type of that type is a string because if you look at that constant, if we just open it in our types, those are just strings. Change name, logout, get users box. So the type is string. Okay? Just we forgot to add equal here. Don't forget to add that equal. And the payload. The payload here is boolean. So we can make it boolean. Or he is here a string. Or he is here an array. So we can make it any. Okay, and let's just copy that action type and add those two dots and just paste it like that. Now we've added TypeScript to our actions and our reducers. We forgot to recap our store. Let's go to our store and recap it quickly. We got here our store. We just import those imports from Redux. That's to apply middleware, to use thunk, to use asynchronous operations. That's the combined reducer because we're gonna have multiple reducers. We just have here a user reducer. For example, we can add uh, settings, settings reducers, uh, box reducers. We can use multiple reducers. So combined reducers allow them and merge them together, okay? That's our user reducers, we just import it. Those for persisting the state, that's the storage from async storage to store our state in local storage. That's the Redux thunk. It allows us to create asynchronous operations using Redux. Okay, and we can use it here. That's the persistor of Redux persist, and finally, that's the root state type. We just export it to use it with use selector. In next lesson, we're gonna display the, that, that list of box, display it in flat list, and we're gonna render it. So don't miss the next lesson. And after, we're gonna start in Redux toolkit. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you see that video is helpful for you and if you have any problems just leave a comment or you can contact me via LinkedIn, Twitter. I left my links in the description. Thanks for watching.